What's going on guys? Today is gonna be the first day I'm gonna be doing this new channel thing that I want to do and anyway I am uh, down a whole bottle so as what the title says it's gonna pretty much be how to pop open a bottle of wine and we are all adults are trying to be and one thing you need to understand or do is I, I guess as adults we have to pile up on our alcohol uh, a little bit of what we have I got wines there there I got a bunch of whiskeys there glasses and cups and then of course we have uh, more wines here uh, those are empty because we've been drinking more wines here you just gotta stock up in wine right is that the right. first so First thing about adulting is drink wine. Stock up on wine, <laughs> <laughs> and then so you can drink, and it. drink it, and then you drink it. The only reason, yeah, that's yeah, that's not adulting. So pretty much, and it doesn't have to be expensive. A lot of people like the fifty dollar bottles of wines. We have fifty plus bottles of wines up there, and we have five ten dollar bottles of wines because. Variety is the spice of life. Variety is the spice of life <laughs> and our wallets, you know, sometimes. Ten dollar bottle of wine is a forty dollar bottle of wine at a restaurant. Drink you here, enjoy it, you know? Order in. Sometimes that's a good thing. Anyway, let's get on it. It's not that hard to pop open a bottle of wine. This new thing that I'm doing with adulting, I'm gonna try and show you guys as I learn, you know, or cooking stuff, cleaning, I don't know. Whatever, what are we gonna do with this channel? Everything, right? Yeah, just how to adult. Yeah, all right, how to adult. And, you know, I'm not an adult, 100%. You are, you're just not a grown-up one. Though. Uh, yeah, I'm an adult, but not a grown-up one. That's exactly, when we don't like to go out. So, bottle of wine, we'll use the regular key be honest with you you don't need a wine key that you know what other uh, people use like if you go to a restaurant they have a wine key where they or they you know have the blade where you kind of pop open and then you, you, you can get one of those but why you know it, it takes more time you can do it easily what first thing you do you need to get rid of this knife right do that there you go, you just kind of do a little incision right there and then it's not dangerous. <laughs> Be careful, don't cut yourself, you know, throw that away. Now, this, this, see, all we're going to do is get this bit in the middle of this cork, like that, you kind of push in a bit, now get your palm, your hand, and you just kind of hold on to it like this and push down. Now, what what you're trying to do is you're pushing all the way down. And see these little wings that it has? It'll move up. As it moves up, you pull them back down. That's what it does is, see, it's kind of pushing the cork out of the actual bottle. And then once that's down, what you're going to do is push down again. See, I'm pushing down like this and twist. Oh, look at that. It swings again. Woo! And then you're going to push the wings back down. There you go. Bottle open. Easy, right? And then you get your glass. Let's see. I'm going to have to do this right So, Get your glass. We have still leftover because we've been drinking uh, early. There's really no time to start drinking. It's a weekend, you can start drinking anytime you want. And if you wanna be fancy like, and you know, you wanna make sure that your wine is good, it's not, oops, you just kind of pour a little bit, do a little twirl, smell it, it, it smells, it, it, if it doesn't smell like corky, I guess the better way to do it is you'll know if it's corked. If you've had wine before and you sip it 
and smell it and the, it has that funky wood ish thing it's probably cork but you won't have to have you won't have that problem if it's only a few years old you know most most cork uh, wines are probably like 10 plus years I don't know I'm not a sum I'm a sommelier so I don't really know when they tend to do things like that but you'll be able to smell or tell if you ever go to a restaurant and they give you the cork don't smell it it's the whole reason to be honest the whole reason they used to do that was that so you can identify that the it was the cork that was made for that actual wine there's usually a you know a marking on it this is a cheap bottle of wine so they probably just use a regular generic type cork which has no other markings on it um, I'll tell you much more about it Griffoni Griff it's an Italian well, it's an Italian wine San Giovese so it's not cheap well it's probably cheap I don't know I don't remember how much you spent for this but um, imported I don't know anyway that's all you gotta do just pour all right give a little twist so that none of the drops uh, go anywhere else the next one twist and there you go that's how you do wine uh, not that hard and just get drunk to be honest you can skip all of that the only thing you really need to learn is pop that cork off so you can start drinking drink out of the bottle right is that okay yeah she'll she'll, she'll she'll do it we have straws drink out of it and then once you can't reach for the straws pour the rest in a cup and <laughs> anyway that's how you open a cork and I will try and do more videos like this if not oh well hope you guys enjoy it I'm opening a bottle of wine did I say I'm opening a cork that's how you open a bottle of wine taking out the cork <laughs> anyway, peace out. Bye. You want to say bye? Chill.